today's video is going to extend what we learned in the last video about virtual data points. If you've not seen that previous video, I recommend you take a look at it. Uh, otherwise, let's just take a look here. So we're just going to recap what we saw last time about how to create virtual data points and see a very simple one there. We're going to look at a few advanced expressions and what, uh, where you can find these and what you can do with them. And we're going to take a look at a few further uses of them. And this time we're going to be looking at a few things that I've seen come up in a couple of um, demonstrations I've done and a couple of uh, customers have talked about this. Here's 95th percentile monitoring on certain metrics and then checking device limits for um, either a customer. So maybe you're an MSP and you want to keep an eye on how many devices your customers have in their environment or on a, a branch of your um, your company or even your company as a whole. So, you know, you're not going over your um, contract allowance. So to take a look, first of all, I've got this graph here just showing network throughput. But what I've actually got, if we take a look at the configuration, is I've got two lines, one showing the input in megabits per second and one showing the output in the same. Now, I want throughput, so I don't really want to be drawing both of those separately, especially since they're just showing the top 10 each time, and they might be for different um, different ports. So what I'm going to do is just create a virtual data point and just combine those to give a total throughput. So let's just call it total. So what I do is in plus out. And then I'm actually going to stop it drawing the other lines, just delete those and only draw the total there. So let's save that. We can see on the preview that it's then created. In fact, let's close, take a closer look. Uh, top 10 line, if we open up this, we can see which 10 they are and the throughput of those. Now I want to see the 95th percentile of these. So where, when in this time frame uh, is this exceeding sort of the 95% of those? And we can see clearly it's probably going to be in these areas, but let's draw that anyway. Now, to find out how to do that, what I'm going to do is just go over to our documentation and search for data point expressions. And I'd recommend taking a look at this page because you can do a lot more than what I'm about to show you. So you can do some basic operations, just adding as we did earlier, dividing, whatever, bit rise operators. Um, you can do some comparison functions. So you can do ifs and you can do algebraic functions, other things like that as well. So and you can put certain lines on there. But what we're looking at is percentile functions. And you can see here, it's simply percent x and y, where x is the data point we're looking at and y is the percentile that we want. And you can see there's an example of how to use it combined with an if statement as well. But let's just do the percentile function for now. So let's configure that. Add on another virtual data point. And this one will just be 95th. So we're going to put percent, I believe that was right. Yeah, percent brackets x, y. And then insert total, and it jumps to the front there. Put it there, comma 95 save that. And I'm going to get it to draw that 95th line as well as the total line. So that's going to put them on. It's going to show me a line for each of them and they'll be color combined there. So the yellow one there matches up with the yellow. If I wanted to combine that across, what I can do is clone that and put network throughput average. So what I'm going to do here is look at uh, the total uh, sorry, actually open each of these and change it aggregate average and aggregate average as well on the output and that'll change the others to match. So now instead of all these lines, I will end up with just the average throughput and the uh, 95th percent of those. So if I now get rid of that, 95th, delete that, I'll leave the total there. What I can do is I can look at this. I can see when exactly those uh, lines are exceeding the 95th percent. So 
for the average of those lines Z. And you can see that that line is then appearing on the other graph as well, that vertical line to show me when that's happening. And then I can look over here and see what the actual data points of those are. Okay, so that's a few of our advanced data points. And again, do look at this, take a look at some of those um, and just see what you can do with those because there's a lot of a lot of powerful uh, tools you can use here so do make sure you're getting the most out of that i just want to end this video with taking a look at this um, so this is just a device count for a certain group this is actually our total group and you see we've got 62 devices in there in total now let's say i as i said before i may be an msp and i want to keep an eye on my customer so this could be a customers group make sure they're not exceeding the amount of devices i've i've allowed them um, or i'm uh, just looking at branches of my company making sure that different branches aren't suddenly adding in lots of devices maybe adding in their workstations or something as well so all i'm going to do is add a virtual data point now in the previous video i said that you need to create at least one regular data point before you can create any virtual data points. Now that's true, but you don't actually need to use any regular data points in a virtual one. So let's just say the limit for this office is 100 devices. I can just put in that, tell it to draw that limit, and save and close that. Ah, I've given it a wrong name. Let's put so that's a reserved name that it can't use. Device limit. There we go. So now you can see, and if this is increasing, I can see it getting closer and closer. And I can easily just at a glance see when it exceeds that 100 device limit there. So do have a look at that, have a play around. If you want to see how to use any of these in more detail, again, look at the data point expression or get in touch with the chat support as well. And if, again, if you have any um, other questions or queries about these videos or ideas for what you want to see covered in another one, get in touch via the email address at the end. Thanks for watching.